Hi. We're not in Oakhaven today. Uh, we took a field trip because one of the videos we just posted, the video on honewort, which is in the parsley family, we mentioned that there were a number of parsleys that were poisonous. So we wanted to introduce one. Uh, this is one of the most common ones right here. This is poison hemlock. Poison hemlock is very poisonous, as you would guess. So uh, we wanted to make sure that everybody was aware of it. You find it everywhere. It grows along the roadsides. It's in ditches. It's in dry areas, uh, waste areas. Uh, it's an introduced species that is taking over. It's I should clarify what I mean by poisonous when I talk about poison hemlock. Uh, poison can mean a lot of different things. Poison ivy, obviously, is something that you don't want to touch. Um, poison hemlock is not so uh, much of a problem for touching, but it's definitely something that you don't want to eat. Poison hemlock is something that if you inject it, ingest it, it will cause, you know, death, convulsions, pain. <laughs> um, a, uh, it, it, this, is the, this is the plant that Socrates drank um, to kill himself in 399 BC. So um, it's, a, it's a serious thing. Um, why you would want to eat it, I don't know, but don't even consider it. We wanted to talk about what makes poison hemlock poison hemlock. Uh, this is going to seem silly, but I'm going to avoid touching the plant. Most people don't have a problem with touching it, but uh, just to avoid risk, I'm going to do this anyway. Uh, poison hemlock has a white umbel. Now, when I talk about an umbel, what I'm saying is that the, the flower, all of the stalks of each floret comes from one central location, and it comes out to either the same point where it's a flat flower or it's a curved flower like this. So this is a compound umbel where each um, stalk from the flower goes out and then it branches off into more stalks. So that's a, a, an umbel. The way you tell poison hemlock from a lot of other big umbel forming flowers that, uh, that grow along the roadside is if you look at the leaf, the leaf is like three times dissected or four times dissected. It, it, it's very fine, fern-like leaf. The really diagnostic thing for the plant, though, is the stem. You can see the stem here. It's a green stem, no hairs on it, but it's got some ridges and has those purple spots. That's the key, is those purple spots. So when looking at things that are like, or look like poison hemlock, and might be confused with poison hemlock, people talk about Queen Anne's Lace. Queen Anne's Lace is a much smaller plant. It, it doesn't have as many flowers on it. Uh, Queen Anne's Lace, a lot of people know what Queen Anne's Lace looks like. It's a, it's a little flower in a, in a weedy patch. While poison hemlock has this smooth stem with this glaucous coating that you can wipe off, you can see that pretty obviously there, uh, but no hairs. Queen Anne's lace, and you can look at the stem, and it's very hairy. Mm. And smells like carrot. So, very different. Poison hemlock is also a biennial, so it will send out a rosette like this. And there's probably one right around here someplace. But it would have these smooth stems, and that's how you could tell it from the Queen Anne's Lace. So as long as we're botanizing from our car, you're driving by at 55 miles an hour and you see this umbel, or umbel looking flower here, but it has these broad leaves. It's a compound leaf, but they're broad. This is elderberry. Elderberry could, as you're driving by, look a little bit like the poison hemlock. But, it's got the broad leaves, and it has a wonderful smell to it, and a much tighter flo uh, floral cluster. So as we're looking at this elderberry, notice that twining up through it is Japanese honeysuckle. So if you don't know what Japanese honeysuckle is, check out our video on Japanese honeysuckle that we posted last week. So here's another plant that could look or could be confused for any of these things. Um, this is yarrow. Yarrow has a very feathery leaf, 
alternating up the stem, Harry's stem, it has what looks to be like an umbel, but if you look at it from the side, you realize it's not an umbel at all because all of the stems come from different locations. Okay, so that's not an umbel. It's actually not in the umbelifery, it's in the Asteraceae. Kind of similar, um, but not. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you coming on this field trip with us. We hope you learned something about poison hemlock. Uh, it seems like something that we really all should know about, so uh, I'm glad we've taken this time to, to walk through some of these things. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, uh, hit like. Um, we'd like to hear comments. We'll, we'll respond to your comments. If you've got questions, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.